Welcome everyone. Joining us now via Skype is Jenny Wilson. Well, Jenny, how are you today? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us here on Contra Valley Live. Now let's get started. The coronavirus has affected many organizations and Contra Valley Pause is no exception. You guys have actually been adapting pretty well though. You're still continuing with the adoption processes, but in a little bit of a different way. Yeah, we are actually doing um, virtual adoptions, and we started this the week um, right after COVID-19, or it was early March, uh, that we started this. So um, our response was, if we can't bring people in to see the dogs, then we would take the dogs to the people uh, via Facebook Live. And it's gone really, really well. Uh, we really haven't missed a beat on adoptions. Um, I can't brag on San Angelo enough. It's been an amazing community to step up and foster and adopt during all of this. It's been a great time for people to foster and adopt because they have had time at home. So, um, you know, we were recognized by American Pets Alive um, as a kick ass shelter because we kept going during COVID 19. So, um, that was a fun uh, recognition uh, to get to see that our efforts have been recognized on a, on a national level. And it's amazing how well you have adapted to all of this. I know you've had a great response by the public on Facebook. They're really loving those videos of those pets that are available for adoption. Do you think this is something that you're going to continue after all of this is over? I do. I mean, we can't wait to bring people into the shelter um, and have them one-on-one -on -one with the animals again. I think we miss our volunteers so much. But um, I do think that this virtual adoption has proven to be very successful. Um, and again, it reaches an audience that once COVID-19 is, you know, in our past, it may reach an audience that might not be able to come out to the shelter. So we're going to, I think we're going to continue with this and, and letting the animals go on the trial adoption has worked out beautifully because they really get to see the animal in their environment and it takes the pressure of adoption uh, off of the adopters. Absolutely, and so you've had to change some some of the other things that you've had to do as well. Some of the events that you have had to put on that you were scheduled to put on have been canceled or postponed. But there is an event that is coming up. It's a very interesting one. It's called Pets to the Rescue. Talk to me a little bit about this event. So we're super excited to participate in this. We, like everybody, we've had to cancel all of our fundraisers and all of our events, um, and our donations have been impacted by COVID-19. I mean, I think we're in the same boat as all the nonprofits in town. Um, but Pets to the Rescue is an organization that puts on a um, nationwide walk. It's a virtual walk, and you walk in your own community wherever you want, whatever park, whatever street, uh, and you just log your time and your distance, um, and it's a fun competition. And um, so we're participating with um, Pets to the Rescue with a bunch of other shelters throughout the nation. Uh, so if you want to register for that, you go online to PetsToTheRescue.org and fill out your registration, and then you... Um, during the registration, you mark that you want to support Contra Valley Paws, uh, and all of the registration fees come to us. So it's a fundraiser for us in a very crucial time when we need those funds. Uh, but it's a great way to get out with your pets while you have the time, go walk. It doesn't, it's from now until June 1st, so it doesn't matter when you want to do it, if you want to do it early morning hours or late evening. Um, I think it's just kind of a win-win a, a idea to get out of the house with your pets, walk, log it, and help shelter animals at the same time. Absolutely. And like you said, it's a great excuse to just get out of the house, get some fresh air, and do it with your, your furry friend as well, right? Right. Yes. All and right. Well, Jenny, thank you so much once again for joining us here on Contra Valley Live. Once again, everyone, Contra Valley Contra Pause, Valley Pause. next adoption, a virtual adoption event will be happening uh, next Thursday. That will be on their Facebook pages at 11 a.m. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. At 11 a.m., so don't miss out on that. Jenny, thank you so much once again for joining us on Contra Valley Live. I appreciate you. Yeah. Oh, thank you.